In this video, um, we're going to take a real quick look at compound interest. We've got two formulas here. We've got one compounded yearly and another one continuous compounding. All right, so depending on the type of story problem that you're dealing with and the information that they give you will determine which one of these two formulas you're going to use. All right, now in both of these, the A stands for the balance in the account after whatever your time period is that you have your investment. I can phrase it just about any way we want here. All right, but that A is the final amount in the account after six months, after a year, after two. Um, this is also would be the balance of the account. Okay, now in both scenarios, your P is your principal. All right, or in other words, it would be your beginning amount. So I can say P is the principal, I could say it is the beginning amount. All right, however, they describe that in the particular story problem that you're dealing with. All right, in this formula right here, you're always going to have a one. All right, you've got an R in both of them. All right, the R stands for the rate, and we're always going to enter the rate as a decimal. So they're probably going to tell you that the rate is 3% or they're going to tell you that the rate is 6%. And you're not going to put in 6, you're going to put 0 0.06. So we'll just put the word decimal here to remind you that it needs to be entered as a decimal. All right, um, the T in both of them is going to be time. Now over here, our time is going to be in years. So then if they give you six months, you're going to put 0.5 in for a half of a year. All right, so in this one compounded yearly, we want this in terms of years. Now, the continuous compounding, this PERT formula, doesn't always necessarily have to deal with money. It can deal with um, bacteria, anything that's growing exponentially. So over here, we're going to say the T is time but it's going to be time based on whatever the story problem is. So if it's bacteria that is growing, you know, it doubles um, every five days, then your time would be in days. All right, so this formula is just a little bit more generic, works with a lot of exponential growth and decay type problems. All right, this over here primarily deals with your money and banking and that sort of thing. All right, now this one has an added in. All right, and so the N is going to represent N compoundings per year. All right, so in other words, some examples, if it says it is compounded monthly, all right, well, there are 12 months in a year, so you're going to plug in a 12. If it says semi-annual, it's compounded semi-annually, then you're going to put in a 2. If it is compounded quarterly, then you're going to put in 4. All right, so in compounding per year, compoundings per year. Okay. Now, over here, you do have this E. E is a constant. All right, just like pi is a constant. If you're using your calculator, you can actually put an E in that's on your calculator and then work this all out. This will be E raised to the RT times P. All right, um, same thing here. This is just a number or basically a constant. So you'll put a one in this formula every time. But just a nice little brief introduction to um, what the letters and variables mean in these formulas. All right, and then we'll just do one example showing both uh, formulas being used and then determining the best interest. Okay, so just nice little brief introduction here. All right, let's suppose that our overall question is going to be which is a better investment. And they're going to give you a couple different scenarios here. Okay, so which is a better investment? All right, now definitely I'm planning on doing this with the use of a calculator. We're not going to do this by hand. All right, so... Um, a TI-84 calculator is going to be really easy as far as putting it in. All right, scientific calculator could be used as well. It'll just might be a little bit more challenging. All right, now our two choices here. Let's suppose 
that someone has eight thousand dollars that they want to invest okay um, in the first choice or the first option for investment they have they have or could get a seven percent compounded monthly they plan on leaving it in for six years okay so there's our two scenarios their other option for an investment they've still got that eight thousand dollars then they might consider investing it at a six point eight five percent interest which is compounded continuously and again they're going to leave it in for the same amount of time which would be six years so then the question is well should they go with this investment at this bank or should they go with this investment at this bank all right now the key here is in the story problem all right it's probably going to be written out in paragraph form not the way i have here but you're going to look for compounded monthly or compounded continuously and then that's going to tell you which formula to use if it's compounded monthly i need to use the a equals p one plus r over n and then n times t with it being compounded continuously i need to use the a equals capital p e raised to the rt all right if we are doing this as a calculator problem it's a matter of plugging in the numbers in the appropriate spot and then plugging it in the calculator and seeing what you get because i am wanting to know the questions asking which is a better investment so what's going to be my balance which one of these two accounts is going to have the higher balance at the end of the six years all right so on this one i need to take my principal which was eight thousand dollars and then i need to put the rate the rate is seven percent but remember we said that that seven percent needs to be as a decimal so 0 0.07 we move that decimal two places to the left so I'm gonna have a 0.07 all right n is the number of compoundings all right well it said monthly monthly there's 12 months in a year so that means my n is gonna be a 12 up here I'm gonna have 12 then times the amount of time the amount of time was six years all right so you could multiply that in your head there 12 times that six is gonna be um, a 72 but basically then you're going to take your calculator you're going to put it in like i said the ti-84 graphing calculator straight put it in no problem do not do any rounding whatsoever until you get all the way down to the end all right after you do that on this one you can pause the video if you want and then try it i'm going to go ahead and give you the answer it's going to be twelve thousand one hundred and sixty dollars if i round to the nearest cent it'll be 84 cents over here you're going to do the exact same thing and then see if this number is bigger or smaller than what we got from the first one so i'm going to start with a principal of eight thousand dollars i'm going to put the e in so you'll use the e on the calculator i'm going to raise that to the rate times the time okay now again this rate moving that decimal two places to the left is going to give me a point zero six eight five don't round that number all right leave it that long move it two places to the left you'll have the decimal equivalent for that percent right there and then again times six years so times six you could multiply that first and then put it in your calculator just straight put that in your calculator again if you want to hit pause before i give you the answer to see if you can get that number you can all right otherwise the answer to this one is going to be twelve thousand sixty six dollars rounded out to the nearest penny sixty cents okay so clearly using the seven percent compounded monthly is going to be the better investment okay so this is the best investment but like i said this was just a straight let's introduce uh, the formulas let's practice with a calculator to see if we can plug the numbers in pull the information out of the story problem Okay, just to be first introduction to these type of formulas. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends and they can benefit too that way.